Hey guys, Recovery Addict here. I'm out at a park in Kaysville, Utah, and just gonna do a little metal detecting around near the soccer field practice area. Um, this is a place that gets quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of use, and a lot of people uh, dump a lot of stuff, bags and gear and stuff here. So there's a good chance of having some drops, um, as well as it's just a, a popular park. So lots of birthday parties and things like that. I've done pretty well for rings in this field right up here. Um, so hopefully we'll get a little more luck with that today. Um, but it's going to be a short hunt, so we've got to go quick, and I'll bring you in on the first target. Okay, we've got a 1718 signal here, showing a little bit deep. Um, let's see if we can't find it. Nothing with the probe, but that was expected, so... Okay. Looks like I missed it just a tiny bit. Got it in the clump. That's exciting. We've got a zipper pull. Probably sink. Oh, that's probably close to six inches deep for a little zipper pull. A good solid signal too. Okay, got a pretty loud 21 signal right here, so I think I've got a penny just under the surface. See if I can pop it up without digging the plug. And there it is. Tell it's not too old, but don't have time to check out the year tonight. Okay, this one came up as 21 on the VDI. Thinking we've got another penny. Oop, right there. It's a penny and a crusty one at that. All right. We've got a really strong, looks like a dime signal right here. Uh, came up as 25 on the VDI. And we have a dime dropped in the grass. Two thousand three. Okay. Another penny signal, 2021. Came up as a couple inches deep. There it is. That's a crusty penny. This one comes in as a 1920. I think I just hit it. And I did hit it. That's what I felt. You can see that little nick mark there on the side. I clipped it. It's a crusty penny. My pinpointing skills aren't as good as I like to think they are. I think I've got another penny here. Which is also a 20 signal. There it is. Be rich on pennies here at this rate. Okay, I just dug a 17 signal. I was expecting a pull tab, uh, but instead I pulled up a the Winchester 
can see the caliber here. Looks like a 3030. That's a little bit damaged. You always get bullets in the park. Okay, I might have a nickel here, but it's dropping down as low as 12. Normally nickels stay pretty constant at 13 for me. So that could indicate that it's a, a broken or a bent pull tab or just a, a scrap of aluminum, like some can slaw or something. It looks like it's a nickel. Got quite a bit of color to it. Trying to make out the date. Looks like a 2000, 2003 maybe. Maybe 2003. Um, funny story about a nickel. Yesterday I was up on my roof uh, doing some spring cleaning. Uh, cleaning out the gutters. And while I was up there I found my oldest nickel to date, which is a 1964 nickel on my roof. Surface find. I don't know how it got there. <laughs> but I'll take it. Just moved about two feet away, got another nickel signal, solid 13. Flipped the plug, it was right there showing. This is a 1968. Okay, I've got a 16 here. A little bit deeper, I think it's a pull tab. Still in the hole. Looks like it's right about the center of the hole there. And it is a pull tab. I've been over this field quite a bit, and it's amazing how uh, how deep of signals I keep pulling out of here that are crystal clear when I go over them. It seems to be always replenishing itself. Okay, I've got a 14 signal right near the surface. And there it is. Looks like it's probably going to be a pull tab, I'm thinking. And it is. Got an 18 signal near the surface. Just a little bit down. Might be a penny. Let's see what we got here. There it is. I'm going to dig a plug on this one. Just because it's right below the roots, I think. It's going to be a shallow plug. Whatever it is, it's right here, I think. Is it? Nope. Here it is. Penny. Crusty penny. Okay. Had a little malfunction with my uh, GoPro. And it uh, didn't get my last find. I found a surface quarter. Came up as a 2930. Okay, there it is. So I missed it just a little bit, but it should be right here in the grass. There it is. Let's see if there's another one in there. Nope. Another state's quarter. Too dark to tell you what it is. <laughs> okay, this is quarter signal number three, all within about three feet. And they are all right on the surface. We're pretty close to it. Let's see. Hmm. Not finding this one. Let's try to get oh, I've got a penny. Definitely had a quarter. There's the quarter right there. This is an older quarter. Looks like a 1995 maybe. Okay, I've got a 11, 12, pretty near the surface. Usually tin foil or aluminum. Occasionally it's a ring. We'll see if we get lucky this time. Not seeing it right at the top. It does feel like aluminum. I just punched through it. So probably some can slaw here. There it is. Just a little piece. 
Okay, it might be a little dark for you guys, but I'm going to keep digging these signals until I uh, until I can't see to find anymore. Um, this one I think is a dime. It's coming up 25, 26. And it's coming up about 3, 4 inches deep, so probably just under the roots. Well, there it is. Okay, you're going to have to... It's definitely a metal detecting video. I dropped it, so... I'm gonna have to find it again with my uh, with my Equinox. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm about to give up on this. This is this might be another coin. I think it is. That's that's a new coin. That wasn't the same one. Possibly it's something even bigger. That's it's a good size chunk in there. Okay, so that is a coin spill, actually. So I've got two pennies in there. <laughs> that was not what I dropped. I dropped a dime. So let's put the two pennies safely away. There's another coin that was not the one I dropped. That's also deeper. That's another penny. I have to break out my phone light. It's a good coin spill area, but I'm gonna need some more light. This is crazy. There's something. That was on the surface. That's a penny. That's not what I'm looking for. We're up to four pennies so far and still still can't find my drops. My drops target. There it is. There it is. Finally. There's my dime. <laughs> okay. Alright, I guess that's official. I need to I need to either call it a quit or possibly head over by the volleyball courts where they've got lights on for the night. The baseball fields are all lit up. Um, they're playing some games. So maybe I'll head over that direction after me. Just fill the plug here. <laughs> There's still more pennies there. I'll leave those for another day. Okay, I think I've got a quarter signal right in here. There it is, just under the surface. And it's a quarter. Texas. State's quarter. Moved over to the, uh, the lit area. Over by the, between the uh, baseball diamonds. So, I can keep filming for a little while longer. Because there is, I'm not sure if you can see that. There is absolutely just a sliver of a moon over there between the lights. I'm not sure if you can see that. But there will not be much light here when these lights go out. Okay, I've got a really strong 14 right near the surface. Should be a pull tab, I think. And it is. Hey guys, I'm back from the park. Just wanted to do a quick wrap up and show you what I got. As far as the junk goes, I got six uh, pull tabs. One crushed the bottle cap. A uh, little bit of uh, aluminum crumpled up. I think that's Colt can slot, I'm not sure exactly. Some foil. I uh, got one wire, uh, zipper pull. Of course, it's a park, so I've got a bullet. This is a Winchester 3030. Um, this is a, I think it's the cap for a valve stem, for like a bicycle or a car, I'm not sure which. Um, but that's all of the junk. As far as the coins go, I think I got, let's see, 21 pennies, three nickels, one dime, that's the one I lost and had to find again, and four quarters. So, got a little bit, it was a quick little hunt. The area I really wanted to hunt um, was where the, the girls were standing around right at the very beginning um, underneath that tree. And that's where they drop all their bags and stuff when they practice soccer out in the field. But the coaches sat there and discussed, I don't know, their team or something for the entire time I was there at the park until it was well after dark. And they were still there when I left. So I'll have to go back and try that when they're not there. I wasn't going to encroach on their space. Anyway, uh, hope you guys got out and you're finding some good stuff. And uh, catch you guys on the next one.